Okay. So it's Tuesday. I'm completely trashing my schedule again. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do today is some uh, bench press mainly. So I've got three moves planned. Bench press, uh, tricep push downs, and then at the end some uh, dumbbell snatches. So the idea is going to be a major compound, so bench, squat, deadlift, press. And one. So each session is going to kick off with a major compound. Uh, then there's going to be some sort of like secondary assistance move, which I think for the time being is probably going to be um, biceps and triceps. Uh, I think my arms are lagging, so just identifying a weak point, I suppose. Uh, and then after that, there's going to be something that's got sort of like a high intensity cardio focus. Uh, so 10 minutes of uh, swings or 10 minutes of uh, snatches. Uh, then the weekend will be the same as ever. Uh, Saturdays will be burpees and Sundays will be all the small stuff. But, uh, essentially, what you know, what what all what all this. Is about is el eliminating uh, a lot of the uh, steady state cardio, the long cardio. So previously I was thinking, okay, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, do the barbell stuff, and then on the rest days, uh, Tuesday and Thursday, doing some form of cardio, like uh, intervals or whatever. Uh, Saturday it was another form of cardio, but centered around burpees. And then Sunday I was doing sort of like odds and sods like um, abs, calves, necks, forearm, that sort of thing. But I'm thinking, okay, I don't need to dedicate sessions to cardio. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, I can make better and faster progress just by sticking more to the barbell stuff and uh, tagging on a cardio finisher. So... 10 minutes on the end is probably enough, I think. Probably. For the time being, anyway. But yeah, I think I, you know, I was struggling to let go of the cardio idea. So I did let go of the steady state stuff, replaced it by interval training. But I'm thinking, what's the point of doing an hour of intervals? You don't need it. You know, 10 minutes is enough if it's high intensity. Anyway, let's get on with it. So. This setup is a, there's a, there's a very slight incline, so one end of the bench is raised up about an inch. Uh, the only reason being is that, that you know, so, so I'm not hitting the uh, supports. You know, there's no, there's no, I can't position the supports, you know, in a better way, either too high or too low. So the compromise is to lift one end of the bench about an inch, and that works. So it is a very, very slight incline, whether or not that makes any difference. Probably not. Okay, and what I'm going to set up is a three minute timer. Uh, and what I'm thinking is um, so it's, this is all, all reverting back to, to what I was doing about two weeks ago. Uh, what I'm thinking is three sets, five five AMRAP. Um, but then after that, I'm going to do uh, five sets of ten or thereabouts. Okay, so this is sixty kilos just for the just for the uh, warm up. Now I did do. I did do the press yesterday, so I think that's probably going to hold me back a bit. But once I get into this rhythm, so just uh, running through press, so it should go press, squat, bench, deadlift. 
Yeah, and cycle through that over and over again. I think I'll go 70 for a single. Then I'll go 80 for the working weight. So my, my bench press is, uh, again, being a bit neglected recently. But not much, but not so bad. Okay, ignoring the timer. Let's do a single with 70. So these are the working sets now. So three sets with 80. So it should go five, five. Then we'll see what we've got left for the third set. So this is the one, 30 seconds to go. But yeah, it's, you know, an, an, another factor, you know, I was going for the uh, press behind neck as a specialisation, uh, hitting it often hard with volume, uh, started to gain a bit of neck pain, and uh, so I thought, back off the press behind neck, so that's two, two thoughts, yeah, too, too much cardio for what I'm trying to achieve, which is a uh, Progress, progress on the weights and uh, the press behind neck speciali specialization was giving me a bit of a uh, bit of bit of jip so change it up a bit so at this moment I'm hitting everything about equally and uh, reducing the cardio again okay The cardio is obviously still there, yeah. You know. So after after each uh, session, there will be some uh, high intensity stuff, either swings or snatches. Uh, and Saturday will be the uh, the burpee setup, which is hard on cardio. That's a cardio effort, really.
So yeah, we're going to carry you. Not give me up on cardio, just uh, balancing it out more. Okay, that's another set of five, hopefully. Should go well. So that's five. And now we get the AMRAP. Probably six. But as long as we get five, then next session the weight can go up. As soon as I can't get three sets of five, it's a 10% re reduction. Um, you know, I can't, <laughs> arguably, I'm still, I'm still overdoing it. I'm still, uh, you know, I'm still training every day. Whatever, you know, whatever the arrangement. You know, you want to talk about consistency or whatever. You know, I'm still training every day. Um, the moves tend to be pretty consistent. So, bench, squat, deadlift, press. Swings, snatches, a bit of arm work, you know, it's tend to be relatively consistent. Um, but obviously there are many, many, many ways to uh, arrange those moves within that template. But, so, but there is an element of continuity for sure. It's not all random chaos. both <laughs> it's consistency and it's chaos all blended together uh, end of the day what matters is uh Weight on the bar without getting massively fat. That's about it. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm achieving either of those. <laughs> but I'm trying. I'm trying. That's it. Yeah, that's what I, I, I wanted. Okay, this one. So, I reckon that six is a, a possibility. If I can get seven, I'll go for seven. But six, I reckon, is about, is about right. I'm guessing. Kilos, uh, still seven. So I think on that one, yeah, I'll put that up to uh, put that up to like two and a half next time. So if I get if I get more than six reps, I'll tend to tend to put a quite quite a substantial increment. Okay, so, and now, the boring but big, so this is what, this is what Wendler calls, five sets of ten, uh, I'm just, I was completely estimating it, guessing it, 60 kilos, that's convenient, Take off a couple of plates. So 60 kilos there. 
Now I'm thinking five sets of ten. We will see. As long as I get one set of ten, then I'll leave the weight. So if I get one set of ten, it doesn't matter if I lose a few reps after that. If I can't get the first set of ten on, I'll shift it down. So the idea is, is that the uh, initial sets are a blend of strength work and hypertrophy and the, uh, the end sets are just for hypertrophy, but uh, I don't think there's any real clear cut off point really. Okay, so you get 10. Fairly easy. Okay, 60 for 10. I wouldn't say that was limit. Uh, I'm going to grab a drink of water. Back in a second. Okay, yeah, some uh, need water all the time. Okay, so that was one set of ten. Yeah, so according, according to Wendler, five sets of ten is the uh, sweet spot for uh, building muscle. So, sounds reasonable. Okay, another set of ten. get all the reps. (sighs) 
suppose anybody who's watching this is probably familiar with the uh, 531 program, which is probably a great program, but I like to play it by ear a bit more. But uh, I suppose what I'm, what <laughs> you know I'm not following any particular program, but I suppose what I'm doing is I'm combining some of grey school linear progression. Okay, so those those are the initial three sets of five. Uh, or five five AMRAP. That's from that's from a program called Grey School. Uh, then I, on top of that, I'm sticking on Wendler's Boring but Big. Uh, whether any of this is optimal, I don't know. Uh, I. I, th I think that the, you know, the chase for optimal never ends. You know, a lot of it depends on uh, how you feel. You know, what, how is your body reacting? And there's so many circumstances, so many elements involved. sure how you feel is uh, it's not it's, it might not be a great guide but it is a guide yeah I don't I don't I don't particularly like pushing through pain I'd rather give it a wide berth because there's so many other options you know what, what why, why push through pain if you don't have to okay let's have another set of ten I mean, you've got to push with pain to a certain extent, wherever you do, you know, but there's, there's a pain of uh, hard work and uh, squeezing out last reps, and there's a pain of injury or excessive soreness or something's not right. And I think that um, as I'm getting older, I've got to be more wary of that sort of pain and uh, be quicker to run away from it rather than push through it. They say I can still you know, train every day. Why, why, not, why not avoid the pain that is possibly leading to injury? Do something else. End of the day, all of this is a game. It's not a profession. It's not a. It's not earning a living. It's a game, which I can rearrange as I wish. So two sets of ten to go. Then I'm going to do some uh, tricep push downs, emom, and snatch, emom. So it's a relatively brief session, right? Thinking about it, I mean, 
half an hour on this bench press maybe, less. Five minutes on triceps, ten minutes on snatch. It's not, it's not a long session. Okay, I'll get ten, hopefully. Should get ten, I think. time I'm gonna go for 65 kilos on this five sets of ten so next time I'm gonna up it five kilos so the initial section five five arm wrap will be eight two and a half and the five sets of ten will be 65 Uh, yeah, there's nothing magic about you know any of these arrangements. Everything works for a short while. Nothing works long term. Now there's no, there's simply no way that you can simply set out an arrangement. You know, let's say, let's say eight sets of six, and just keep putting weight on you know eventually it's gonna it's gonna stop it's gonna stall so I'm not, I'm not particularly convinced that there's any any magic bullet program I do think that you know there are, there are principles. Let's say, yeah. Okay, this last set. If I can get, if I can get eleven, I'll go for eleven. If I can get twelve, I'll go for twelve. Since the last set. Uh, ten will be will be good. Okay, so straining at the end so I left it at that definitely I don't think I got 12 I think 12 would have been pinned me to the supports okay good stuff all right Well, it's only 20 kilos, but uh, I'm going to do this EMOM, so that means one set will almost run to the next. So with a brief rest, 20 kilos should be enough. I've got, I'm going to do five sets. So five sets in five minutes when I get started. Where's it going? Emo. Okay. 
get. Seven. Yeah, when you do an EMOM, it's not enough recovery. It's like, it's all like an extended rest pose set. Or cluster sets, or whatever you want to call them. It's like doing one extended set. Six. Six. Okay, one last set. Yeah, I think, you know, I think I've definitely neglected arms over the years. Yeah, so like most people, when I, when I first started, I did a lot of arm work. You know, it's, it's just sort of eye catching, it's bodybuilding, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's, it's the uh, gateway. Uh, and then eventually, you start getting to sort of like uh, performance on, on big lifts, you know, which I think that only comes after the initial idea that you're going to try and improve your appearance or 
primitive bodybuilders. But yeah, eventually you work out uh, these big lifts are very important and then you get it's obviously when you're quite young there's an ego buzz about lifting big uh, and it feels like you're actually doing something productive. Uh, uh, and I think that, uh, yeah, definitely I, uh, I, dr I uh, got into that idea, you know, don't worry about, don't worry about isolation stuff, don't worry about arms, don't worry about aesthetics, don't worry about looking good, you know, let's concentrate on getting some big lifts, that's a real thing, that's a real deal, and to a large extent I still think, think like that, but uh, I'm wondering if, uh, you know, any of that contributes to sort of like uh, joint pain later on down the road. Yeah. Just a thought, isn't it? Just a thought. Okay, let's finish this off. Ten minutes on the EMOM. And we're going to do the uh, dumbbell snatch. So the dumbbell snatch for the ten minute finisher. Uh, I'm hoping that this finisher idea will... Uh, keep my cardio going I'm hoping that that is enough So, snatch, 15 kilo dumbbell, what did I get last time? Written somewhere. Okay, so, it went, so they five pairs, which is 10 minutes. So, started with a pair of sixes, sevens, eights, and then I went nine, ten. So I'm going to reckon about, about 8 reps is probably doable. initial eight. <sighs> yeah, snatches are hard on cardio, harder than swings, obviously, just by the weight on swings, swings become harder.
Okay. It's pair of eights. I've written it down already. Some breathing going. Yeah, that's it right. Bad. Come on, let's go for nine. Let's go for a pair of nines. Yeah, it feels a little easier than last time. So I'm hoping this 10 minutes every day is enough on the cardio front. Well, combined with a big session on Saturday on burpees. Okay, back down to eight. Now try and finish with tens. Ten sets. Lots of progress. That well, should be early days.
Okay, another set of eight. I'm going to finish off with tens, hopefully. Okay, that's the eights. So, last pair, 10-10. Ten, ten. It should be somewhat harder. Finish on a flourish. Okay, 10, that was all right. Not easy. But not hard. Okay, last set of 10. Call it a day. That's it, 10 sets. Definitely plenty of progress on the numbers there, so good stuff. Okay, so back tomorrow for deadlifting. So, five days of barbell work now rather than three. So, Monday to Friday barbell work, Saturday burpee session, Sunday small stuff. Okay, bye.